Welcome to Augmented You. My name is Jan, I'm your host, and on this channel we equip you with all the information needed to thrive in the age of artificial intelligence. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. We post videos every week, videos covering all the key topics, all the key happenings from the AI world, because at Augmented You, we believe that you should be mastering AI and not the other way around. So make sure to click the subscribe button, click the bell notification icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you are already a member of this community, welcome back, thank you, we appreciate you. The topic of today's video, AI weekly breakthroughs. The news, what has happened, the impact, why you should know about it, the action, how can you benefit from it? Let's jump right into it. First item for today, it's from Anthropic, introducing computer use, a new Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Claude 3.5 Haiku. Today, we're announcing an upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet in a new model Claude 3.5 Haiku. The upgraded Claude Sonnet delivers across the board improvements over its predecessor with particularly significant gains in coding, an area where it already led the field. Claude 3.5 Haiku matches the performance of Claude 3 Opus, our prior largest model on many evaluations for the same cost and similar speed to the previous generation of Haiku. This is impressive. Why? Just months ago, Anthropic released this family of model. Opus, the biggest, largest brother, the middle one, Sonnet, and then the smallest one, Haiku. And now Haiku, the smallest one, the latest version of it, already matches the performance of the previous Opus. So this is impressive. This just goes to show how quickly this field is moving forward. But what I really want to focus on in this section is computer use, because this is truly impressive. What is computer use? Claude can now use computers. The latest version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet can, when run through the appropriate software setup, follow a user's commands to move a cursor around their computer's screen. Click on relevant locations and input information via a virtual keyboard, emulating the way people interact with their own computer. How does this work? They define four steps. Provide Claude with computer use tools and in a user prompt. Claude decides to use this tool. Extract tool, input, evaluate the tool on a computer and return results. And then four, Claude continues calling computer use tools until it's completed the task. Now, let's look at a demo. Anthropic, they share a short demo of how this looks like and the task at hand. On the right, we see a vendor request form. On the left, we see messy vendor data. And then also there's a tab, vendor search portal. Now the prompt, please fill out the vendor request form for Ant equipment using data from either the vendor spreadsheet or search portal tabs in window one. List and verify each field as you complete the form in window two. Let's see what Claude does with this prompt. So on the left, I'll help you fill out the vendor form and it takes a screenshot. It takes a screenshot so that it can understand what is visible on your screen. And what it decides to do, since it does not find this vendor in the spreadsheet, it decides to, I'll need to click on the vendor search portal tab. So there's already some level of reasoning in it. And now it searches the vendor portal for Ant equipment It clicks the button it needs to it needs to click so it understands what is on the screen and what actions are necessary to move to the next step. It finds this particular vendor, finds the information, scrolls down the screen so it can see everything that it needs to see. Again, through screenshots, it can understand what is on the screen and then it inputs the data into, into the form on the right. This is impressive. It verifies the fields and then it successfully submits the form. This is truly impressive and we'll discuss the impact in the next segment on the video. Here, I do wanna share another thing from Anthropic. This is not all from them this week, introducing the analysis tool in Claude AI. What does this one do? It allows us to analyze and visual, visualize CSV files. So here the example, sales funnel data, and then the prompt, please visualize the sales funnel progression from awareness to purchase with a bar graph so I can identify any bottlenecks. And then using the information that is available in the spreadsheet, Claude creates this graph, which we can then analyze. So a lot of new stuff from Anthropic this week. Second item of the day, it's autonomous agents coming to Microsoft Copilot Studio. So Copilot Studio users, 
will now have the ability to create new autonomous agents. So those are two new capabilities coming, creating autonomous agents with Copilot Studio. This will be in public preview next month. And then the second one, we're introducing 10 new autonomous agents in Dynamics 365 to build capacity for every sales service, finance and supply chain team. So let's look at a few examples of those autonomous agents that are coming to Dynamics 365. So sales qualification agent. In a profession where time literally equals money, this agent enables sellers to focus their time on the highest priority sales opportunities. While the agent researches leads, helps prioritize opportunities, and guides customer outreach with personalized emails and responses. And then the second one, supplier communications agent, and then customer intent and customer knowledge management agent. So those are just a few examples of pre-built agents that are coming to Microsoft Copilot. Let's look at a few more screenshots of how this looks like. So in Copilot Studio, you can describe your agent to create it. So it seems like you can use natural language to create your agents. And then some of the capabilities that those agents have. The first one is autonomous triggers. Agents can automatically respond to signals across your business and initiate tasks. They can be configured to react to events and triggers without human input that instead originate from various tools, systems, and databases, or are even scheduled to run hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Dynamic agent plan. Each business process can have different paths since agents create dynamic plans on the fly to handle and complete tasks. Users can view the underlying logic for each of the agent's paths, which includes key details, steps, and systems involved. This provides insight into why the agent chose a particular method, its decision process and context, along with detailed steps, including variables and outputs, which are crucial for debugging. So you have full transparency of the tasks and actions that the agent is performing. And all of this is using under the hood the new OpenAI 01 models or series of models. So Copilot Studio agents use the latest models, including the OpenAI 01 series, which has been used in the limited private preview for autonomous agents. These models are optimized for advanced reasoning tasks, enhancing the ability to solve complex problems. In 01 models, this is something that we covered in depth in the previous video on this channel. And all of this, as mentioned, will be in preview, and it will also be unveiled at Microsoft Ignite 2024, which is just weeks away. Third item of the day, and it's from NVIDIA. It's a new large language model, and it's called Llama 3.1 Nematron 70B Instruct. So it is a large language model customized by NVIDIA in order to improve the helpfulness of LLM-generated responses. That sounds very generic, but why I'm featuring this model is because on certain benchmarks, it outperforms even GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And this is the Sonnet version that we just talked about in the previous segment. You can test this model out, through this interface made available by NVIDIA. And I already tested it out myself and I used what OpenAI put forward as the ultimate test of reasoning capabilities. How many R's are there in the word strawberry? So this is something that the previous generation of LLM struggled with, but the latest O1 solves this task. And so does this one. So does Llama 3.1 Nematron. How many R's are there in the word strawberry? And this is the answer, a simple but sweet Question, let's count the R's in the word strawberry. So it goes letter by letter and it says, so there are three R's in the word strawberry. So this is another state-of-the-art large language model available on the market to use. News item number four, and this is the last one for the day. This is not necessarily AI or generative AI. Now, there is machine learning, artificial intelligence in the background of what we are seeing, but this is a technological breakthrough worth featuring on Augmented U. So it is SpaceX catching their Starship rocket booster with what is scientifically called as chopsticks. So there's a huge booster that can now control its movement so that it can be caught by this tower, by the chopsticks. Successfully, now we saw a lot of experimentation from SpaceX, failed experiments, huge celebration with this one. And this is truly something remarkable. Awesome. Impact. Let's discuss the impact. And here I want to focus on computer use from Anthropic. I think this was the biggest breakthrough of the past two weeks. And to refresh the memory, Microsoft and their Copilot, they came out with a feature called Vision, which enables the Copilot to see what you can see on the screen. 
and this enables it it can process this input to 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 perform tasks to accomplish more tasks so it is a more useful copilot because of it but now Anthropic is going a step further we had a few open source projects which were aiming to do the same so to have ai controlled computer use but now Anthropic is actually doing it so we saw how claude can take screenshots of the screen can perform actions on the screen to accomplish different tasks. So we saw the task of filling a, a, a vendor form. So what is the impact of it? I'll quickly read a paragraph provided by Anthropic. So why computer use? Why is this new capability important? A vast amount of modern work happens via computers. Enabling AIs to interact directly with computer software in the same way people do will unlock a huge range of applications that simply aren't possible for the current generation of artificial intelligence. So this is one. I want to very quickly talk about retrieval augmented generation. If you're not sure what that is, we have a few videos on this channel explaining the process or explaining the technique. So what retrieval augmented generation enables AI to become is that middle layer between vast amounts of data and between humans. So it changes how humans interact with content and how, how humans interact with data. We now no longer have to search manually through the documents, but we can talk through, let's say, a conversational AI experience talk with our documents. This is what Retrieval Augmented Generation is doing. And this is doing something similar, but in a slightly different way. So now AI, if AI can perform actions on the computer, it can serve as that middle layer. So now humans will know we will no longer control the actions, control the screens, but we will be giving out tasks. This is what I want accomplished. Those are the tools that you have available. And this is the information that you can operate with to perform that given task. So this is what Claude is now already doing. And I think this will have a massive impact on user interfaces, on user interfaces of the future. And even I'll again bring up the Microsoft Copilot in their announcement. Even there, you can use natural language to create new agents. And I think this is the future of user interfaces where we'll be using natural language to give out tasks, to explain what we want to achieve, to explain the task that we want AI to perform. And this is how we will, we will interact with computers. This is how we will also interact with generative AI. That sounds great, Jan, but how can I benefit from it? You need to be good at using these tools. You need to become proficient at using generative AI, at using large language models. Imagine the difference in productivity between people, employees who are effectively using generative AI, chatbots, co-pilots, bots now, now capable of controlling computers. Imagine how many more tasks, imagine how more productive those people will be, as opposed to those who refuse to, to, to accept it, who refuse to adopt this new technology. I keep bringing up that example, but let's say Google searching is a skill. Some people are much better at finding information through Google than others. It will be very similar with generative AI, but at a much, much greater scale, because what generative AI brings is an immense potential in productivity gains. And then if you are someone who can use those tools for your benefit, for your own advantage, then you will be allowed to prosper in the next years in the age of generative AI. This is it for this week's AI Weekly Breakthroughs. We had several announcements from Anthropic, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3.5 Haiku, Claude Computer Use, this was the biggest one, and then also the analysis tool coming to Claude. We saw autonomous agents now coming to Microsoft Copilot Studio, so you can now build your own agents, and they are also coming out with 10 pre-built autonomous agents. We have a new model, large language model, state-of-the-art large language model from NVIDIA, and we had SpaceX catching their Starship rocket booster with chopsticks. So this is it, and if you enjoy such content, click subscribe, click the bell notification icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you, and until next time.